What's up guys? Lethal here. Back with another 7 Days to Die Uncut Challenge Attempt 2. We're on day 3. Uh, this is just early in the morning, so we're still got a lot to do. Um, so let's start. I can remember where we are. I think we just have to get resources. Right, this is the uh, major goal right now. Resources, resources, resources. And worry about trader stuff and jobs and stuff later as we need to, but um, resources and survival right now. Uh-oh. I heard a wolf. Um. <laughs> I was watching other people play, and I love it. I love watching my comrades do this challenge. This is, um, this is a tough challenge. <laughs> and, uh, I really commend them for sticking out as long as they have like there's a, like Alex at uh, engineering the apocalypse like really has killed it like he's like on day 21 or something like I think that was the last one I saw was day 21 it's really insane like I died on day three in my first attempt on this um Braddy Lynn I think went to like day nine Like it's. Oh, I broke that arrow. God damn it. Where is he? Um. Come on. Yeah, it's been really great. I'm so glad that, uh. that he came up with this, because this is just. It's a great idea, first of all. I saw someone on Twitter, like, comparing it to the one-shot kill challenge. And, um, I mean, in some ways, yeah, I can see that. Um, they're very, it's, the way you have to play this challenge is very different than the way you have to play one-shot kill. Because uh, on this, you can at least be hit. And not have to worry that much, but um, one shot kill, forget it. If you get hit, you're done. One shot kill. Uh, so everything is approached, you know, much more cautiously. But there is some major added pressure on this with the time limit. And the impending um, progression of the horde. You know, it's inevitable. The more, the more days you survive, the bigger that horde's gonna get. Because this game really does just want to kill you. That is what it is designed for. I don't have anything like super. I guess we could look for cobblestone, but nothing like major in mind that we need to find right now. Uh, I think there's loot up here, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the shortcuts I can when it comes to these POIs in this challenge. Um, my normal gameplay I wouldn't take the shortcuts unless I absolutely had to but with this one and the limited time that we have I'm gonna take it all the shortcuts if I know them you know sneaky loot stuff and um, 
Like, uh, if you guys ever watch Gaming After 50, they have some really great tips on sneaky loot. Like, stuff I didn't know about at all. Um, and those videos are, are excellent. So shouts outs to them. But it's not, like I said, it's not stuff I would use in a normal game gameplay playthrough. Um, unless I was, like, desperate for something like a cooking pot or something. And I would know which house to go to and where to find it, you know. But definitely with this... Hold on. I thought there was a room up here. Oh my god. Just wasted a bunch of time. Anything to eat. I have to eat one of this raw meat. I hope I don't get sick. out of arrows so <sighs> I need to hurry I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> I'm doing too much messing around right now thank you for cooperating peep Appreciate it. Oh my god. I don't need either of those. That was a little bit of a waste. Yeah, there is a room up there. What the fuck? I mean, I'm not too far from the base, but still, like, if it's just a wasted loot day, you know what I mean? I would rather... There's some food. That was weird. <laughs> I don't have a shovel. Why do I just not have anything right now? And I'm not remembering that I just don't have anything. I mean, I really don't need that goldenrod. But I will take this cobble so I can start upgrading some stuff. Where are 
are they? You heard that, right? Oh, shit. That's so loud. Ah! <laughs> I was not expecting that. That is funny. Jesus. Just turn around, there's a crawler. Great. Is that it? Yep, okay. Here's our loot. Some food. <clears throat> Stuff I can go through later. Okay, it's 1800. And we gotta get the heck out of here and get back. into that right now. Put that stuff red. Put that on so we have some armor. I've got one water. Um nineteen. Ooh. We gotta go. So that's not really gonna help me right now. And I'm not wearing any boots, so those mods are also kind of useless right now. Um, most do we have in here? Nothing. some repairs. everything but whatever god damn it you can't be serious right now
I scrapped my sledge. Without checking that I could... Make another one. system. find a source of water somewhere. This will give me some iron. That's probably something we can do in the next episode also, is try to find like an iron node. I think this trailer might be unsustainable for long term, so I another POI or a or or just build a base. I don't know though. Um you know, we'll have to set up like the whole storage thing and uh, work, work benches and things like that. So we'll need more space and we'll need a secure space so that if they decide to start beating on the walls, it won't be so easy for them to get through. Something that we can upgrade, you know? Might be it for tonight. And then, you know, something that we can, um, I mean, at some point, we'll probably need to put a roof in anticipation of vultures and things like that. Just curl up some meat. Don't let me do that. Nope. That is not unlocked.
Was that morning chimes? All right, I guess we should end it here. Yeah, it's about four. Okay. All right, well, that was day three <laughs> on the Uncut Challenge. Thank you so much for coming along this journey with me. I do appreciate having you around. Um, please make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you know when I upload all those videos. And come back for the next time and, uh, and help me on that journey, too. All right, so I'll see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.